Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Dance Kingdom. Uh, ByteDance has released a new nice AI-like uh, AI agent. It's called DealFlow. So uh, it is open source product and it is a community-driven framework for deep research, combining language model with tools like web search, crawling, and Python executions. So if you scroll down their uh, GitHub page a little bit, you can see that um, this already got almost 5k stars just in a few days. So it's very popular. And um, if you scroll down to the quick start, they have instructions to show you how to build it uh, on localhost. You can try that out. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to build this on Kaggle with Kaggle's GPUs step by step for free. And we're going to use VLM to demo this so you do not have to use other third party uh, API providers. So that is it. Let's get started. So if you have not watched my previous video about how to set up VLM, then feel free to watch that. I have a link in the video description. So in this tutorial, we're going to use QN 2.5 uh, 14B. And if you want to use other uh, models, feel free to try that. Uh, but this is so far um, tested and it is working pretty well. Uh, so you can actually download the Q1 2.5 B just from the official Hugging Face variable, like I demoed here. So here are the configurations. So this is running right now. So this should actually work for this video and make sure you um, configure the maximal length with a larger uh, context window because um, the agent uh, communication needs more context window. So, and also make sure you turn on the auto tool choice and also to call processor equals to Hermes because uh, the AI agent is going to use tools to actually drive the process. So, and that being said, this is basically the VLM. Feel free to check out the video again. Uh, so let's go to the another notebook, which is to set up the deal flow. So, and you can actually check out the uh, VLM link. This is 26cc. So this is working. Let's refresh that. It is working. So uh, for the deal flow notebook. So first, you have to set up the uh, Node.js or to upgrade it because the um, deal flow needs a uh, Node.js to be higher than 22. So you can see the Node.js needs to be uh, 22 plus. So that's why we have to upgrade the node. Make sure you follow the script to upgrade the node um, in the notebook. Then uh, you have to basically clone the REPL. Um, and then after that, make sure you install all the dependencies through the UV. So this will install all the dependencies for Deer Flow. And then uh, basically you have to configure this um, Deer Flow um, configurations and also the environment variables. And we'll show that um, in a little bit. But first you have to also install the dependencies for the MARP team. So make sure this is installed. So this is also docu then documented in the GitHub repo. Then make sure you install PMPM. So and that should be it for all the dependencies set up for the deal flow. And after that, make sure you install Ungrok. This will give you a public URL as I demoed in my previous videos. So I'm not going to cover that in this video, but uh, this other script, feel free to copy that and paste it in the notebook uh, because we're actually uh, using engines to wire up all the different traffic uh, from front end and back end. So we're going to use the localhost 80. So this is Nginx port. So you can see that the public URL is 9C. E4. So that's one that we set up already in here. So you can see, let's refresh the page. So you can see this is already running. So we'll show how this works in a little bit. But let's go through the notebook first. And then after you set up the public URL uh, for Nginx, you also have to make sure you configure the uh, dearflow.environment variable. So in this case, we're going to use search as the duck.go. You can choose uh, Tavoli and also Brave Search, so on and so forth. Um, but I think DuckDuckGo works and does not need a API key, so which is perfect. Uh, if you use Tavli, you do need an API key. So you can grab that from Tavli's console and paste it here. So, but we're going to use DuckDuckGo just for this demo. Uh, we're going to not use the TTS. Um, so if you want to use TTS, you can follow the instructions in the GitHub readme. So, but we're not going to cover in this video. And if you use Open Router as the LM, you can configure it here as well. Uh, but we're going to use VLM, so we're going to uh, basically set up that uh, in the configuration, but we're going to uh, basically not use the open router in this case. So then you have to set up the LLM configuration. So uh, go to the comp.yaml, 
Uh, so there are two configuration files. One is for the environment, right? The other one is for the LLM. So to configure the LLM, then basically you have to uh, specify the base model, which is the Q1 2.5 14B instruct AWQ. So this is the model we're using for this demo, which works actually pretty well. So you do not need actually a pretty uh, large model. Uh, this one actually works. So, and the base URL is the one that we actually set up right now. It is 26cc. So this is the one that is showing up in here, 26cc. Then the token API key, you can specify that in the VLM configuration. And we're going to just use the token ABC123. And then uh, make sure you point the front end of the deer flow, which is the web environment, uh, to the uh, public API that you set up in the same public URL for uh, deer flow. So it's 9C E4. So basically back end front end is going to be using the same public URL. So it's the 9C E4, but uh, because we're using engines, so basically we're going to route to different backend services. So the API, we're going to uh, basically point to the backend service, and then the domain, which is the uh, front end, is going to point it to the front end service. So it will show up uh, later in this video, but that's why we actually have to point this uh, backend URL uh, to the public slash API. Then uh, we have to also go to the web to install all these uh, front-end dependencies. So it's pmpm and uh, install. So this will install all the front-end dependencies for this uh, project. And then let's go back to the notebook. Then um, you can also try it uh, using the CLI. So basically just do the UV run main.py. But we're going to uh, basically just do the web UI version. Um, so then you can skip that step. Then after that, um, you basically have to install a supervisor because we're actually running everything in a notebook. So we do need to keep everything in the back end. Um, so that's why we actually install, need to install supervisors. First, uh, do a pip update. Then do a pip install supervisor for 2.2.1. After that, you have to configure this um, front end and back end. So the back end is deep flow service. You can name it differently, but I'm just going to use uh, deep Adir flows SVC. Then uh, make sure you use the UV to speed up the backend service. So you can run the UV and the directory to point to where you downloaded the deer flow. In this case, the cable working deer flow run server.py. So this will spin up the backend service for deer flow. And after that, uh, make sure you also log everything. So then the standard error file is a uh, deer flow service error and the output is deer flow service out. So after that, uh, we have to configure the front end as well. So the front end, because we're actually uh, using the PMPM, so basically just spin up the front end using the PMPM, and also use the deer flow web. So and also run start. The reason we do the run start is because uh, if you use the development like run dev, it's very slow. So we do need to uh, use the uh, production build. So in this case, uh, we have to configure the PMPM and run start. After that, make sure you build. The project so this will build a uh, front end as a production build so just run the pmpm uh, dash dash directory and also the deal flow web and run build so this will build everything in a minimum js minimum uh, css html so and so forth so so this will actually spin up the front end very fast then uh, make sure uh, you do the uh, supervisor stop start and status this will actually spin up the back end service for deal flow so you can see that uh, supervisor D is running. So then you can check the deer flow front end and deer flow back end status. So, and you can check it out right now. Let's just click it and check it. So you can see both are running. And then uh, make sure you monitor all the logs. So I won't um, demonstrate in this tutorial. Feel free to do this um, CAD and then the log file to check all the logs. Then you have to install Nginx. So make sure to do update uh, and also apt install Nginx. And after that, make sure to configure deerflow.configuration uh, for Nginx. So this will actually route all the traffic, as we mentioned earlier, to the backend, a uh, different backend services. So the front end will route to the localhost 3000, which is the uh, front end. Then the backend for the API, as I demoed earlier, so this will actually route all the API traffic, the backend API traffic, to localhost 8000 slash API. So this uh, is the configuration for Nginx. Then you do an Nginx token search, so this will actually spin up everything for the deer flow. So that's it. So this is the deer flow uh, 
project setup, but you do need to set up the backend or use the open router or open AI APIs, then uh, it's a different, a little bit different setup. You do need to configure that in the LLM configurations, but we're going to use the VLM, so we do not need to do all that. So, uh, so that should be all the setup you need to try out the deal flow on Kaggle Notebook. And then let's go to the uh, production build. So, so here's the uh, production build. So it just refresh the page. Everything's working. You click get started, and you will be jumping to the chat or the playground. So before we do that, you can go through their case studies. This is like Manus AI, so they have everything recorded here. So you can try different use cases. And then they also have a demonstration for mod agent architecture, so you can see everything very uh, nicely. So that be said, let's go to the chat page. So um, so if you go to the slash chat, we will give up to you this page, which is super nice. Actually, the UI has done very nicely. And uh, so you can see here, we already tried one. And um, basically, we're trying the how many years does a average Tesla battery last compared to a gasoline engine. So you can see they basically started planning first. And then after that, you can just uh, start search. There's a button. Once you click, uh, it will be gone. And then it will say, awesome, let's get started. Then it will start research. You can see everything from the right side. Uh, there's activities during the research. They basically go through all different uh, web URLs, pages, and also the LLM responses. They can see there's a conclusion, references, and then there's a problem statement, the conclusion, and also references, which is very nice. And then they will generate a report also. Uh, super cool. So you can also uh, do the uh, generate podcast. We will actually cover everything to a sound, which is nice, but uh, we're not going to demo that in this video. But it is um, an optional thing you can try out. Um, so let's do a demo for this. You can just click Get Started. Right, you can see everything's running here, and let's click sometimes um, some of the examples here. Um, so the one that we tried is for Tesla, and then then you can try maybe how many times fast, uh, how many times faster is the speed of light compared to the speed of sound. You can click that. You can see everything start running, and if you go to the VLM, you can see the logs start generating. So you can see all different debugging logs to see how the uh, deal flow works. So basically, uh, you can scroll down a little bit. You can see everything is generated during the uh, playground. Let's go to the playground. You can see it's very nice. See, everything is generated um, very quickly, and the speed is very fast. Super nice. Also, it's actually generating report already. So the activities, all this didn't start generating activities, but it's actually generating report already. Interesting. Anyway, uh, this is how to set up the deal flow. Uh, on Kaggle for free and use the VLM uh, as the LLM provider. So hopefully this is helpful. And if you do like this video, uh, please subscribe, like, or comment. If you have any questions, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.